everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've never been here before. First and foremost, I have to apologize. I have a window open. If you can hear cars rushing by, I'm sorry. It's really hot in my room and um, I'd rather be comfortable than worry about the noise, so sorry about it. So today we are going to be doing a tour of my pet room finally and I'm starting in here because I just want to do a quick intro and outro instead of doing it vlog style like I normally do. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start on this side of the room. Um, some stuff has changed in here, some stuff hasn't. I'll just give you guys a full-blown overview. If you keep up with my updates, you might have already seen some of this stuff, but we'll start with the door here. I mean, that's just a door. There's a tray there that needs to go into storage, so ignore that. And then on the back of the door, we have all of the bonding bags I use. And, um, these are all from Whim So Cool shop on Etsy, if you're curious. Then we have my calendar. I mostly just keep up with videos on this, honestly, and sometimes I don't even keep up with those. <laughs> Then we have the storage closet. This is what I would refer to as uh, organized chaos. So it looks very messy because it is. There is some like big fleece up here that I use for when the rats um, go down for playing. I mostly use this one to be perfectly honest, but the other ones are there in case I need them and there's a dog bed and some other stuff. Here we have bug stuff. There's a cricket bin with no crickets in it. And we've got some like powdered stuff and Weasley's water um, that already has Reptisafe in it. And then some of the flea stuff here. A space heater at the bottom. There's a, a loft here that won't be here in like a couple days. I just need to get it down into storage. I haven't dealt with it. It's from Draco's cage. And then my broom for this room, which is a rubber broom, because it's the only thing that works on hay. Um, and then we'll swap sides here. There's a, a piece of the rat cage. You guys will see why that's out in a minute. That also needs to go into storage. We've got some extra hamster supplies down there, mostly dwarf stuff from when I had Sissa and Crab and Goyle and all of them. Um, that's a box for a playpen, and then we have the pads that I use underneath fleece for the guinea pigs, and some yesterday's news in just like an empty litter box, and of course, lots of fleece here. There's a better view of the storage. Then we have more storage here. I have this fleece outside of the closet because I need like easy access to it at all times, so this is like pig stuff here, mostly just pads. Um, that I can easily change out. I have more in the laundry. And then this is rat stuff. So like we have a loft liner here and then the, the these four are like things they can shred and you know I can throw in their cage. And then we've got food on this level, or at least these four. We've got Gimli, the guinea pigs, the rats, tricks. Um, this is mostly just storage stuff. I used to put food in there but it's storage treats or what's left of them there's not a lot left there's actually like stuff for Finn back here um, that I'll have to find a better place for I had it tucked behind because he wasn't awake but he is now so we'll have to find somewhere else for that we've got a treat bin here and garbage and like extra vacuum filters the vacuum itself and then these are like miscellaneous bins full of stuff like some of it has hamster stuff some of it has tenric stuff i won't get like specifically into all of that stuff if you guys want like a full-blown storage tour i can do that one day moving on up top we have um a little storage bin i don't remember what that's for and a carrier that i use for the guinea pigs a painting that maddie smith painted for me um of finn a bag of KT Clean and Cozy. And then we've got the guinea pig cage, which is two feet by six feet. And then we have Gimli's cage. Gimli is my Syrian hamster, for those who aren't familiar. Um, he's in a two by three. All of the Critter Nations are two by threes. And then we have carriers underneath. 
And then we have Weasley, who is finally in the pet room. And yes, I have him inside of a Critter Nation. I could take the doors off for you guys uh, so that it would look slightly better, but there's no way to mask the fact that he is inside a Critter Nation, and that's because of my cat. And then um, underneath we have some stuff that I use for the rats, like playtime. Um, and then we have like an extra table here and the rat's playpen, which to be perfectly honest with you is usually set up in the middle of the floor and I leave it that way a lot of the time except for when I'm filming because it takes up all of the space. And then speaking of the rats, we have their cage. They are in a double critter nation. So here's the rat's cage, nice and open. I did take out the center floor of it. They seem to be enjoying the change. Here's Salem and Mr. Moods. Hello. So they seem to be doing pretty well with the change. If I notice they don't like it, I'll put it back. I just did it last night, so. But they seem to be enjoying it. Tricks my hedgehog and uh again this is two by three and she has her heating up here i have a full cage tour of this if you're curious and then here is finn's cage finn's cage is an absolute mess i'm not gonna get into it because i'm redoing his entire cage you guys will see that soon enough oh and underneath trix's cage is a couple things for the rats playtime and then um a DIY carrier and some of their like cage supplies. Nothing fun under there, unfortunately. So that's really it for the pet room. It's pretty simple. There have been some changes made. Obviously Draco passed away recently, so that's why Weasley was able to go in there. I had originally planned on putting him up there, but now he you know, he can go inside of a Critter Nation, so that works out too. And then the changes that were made to the rat cage are fairly new and then I'm going to be making the changes to Finn's cage very very soon hopefully this upcoming week that's the that's the hope and then yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next video hopefully bye